guys, I'm at RuPaul's DragCon 2019 with the lovely, fabulous, sparkly, silky, nutmeg, ganache. Yes, and we are here for all the spa interviews. How are you? I am so fabulous. I'm so honored to be here in front of all of especially my good Judy oh, right here. Yes. Oh, this is my girl. Oh, and we have a you. fabulous time. Yes, yes. Uh, fun story, we met before Drag Race even started at Mickey's. You're out of drag and I was just rooting for you and it's really been awesome to see you week after week at Mickey's hosting and making it to the end. It's really powerful. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I, what I love about you is you're very outspoken. You know, you crack some jokes a lot uh, that can be risque or scandalous or sexual. But at the same time, you're very, um, you want to talk about the nitty gritty stuff. How do you kind of find that balance? Like staying true to like the typical drag queen persona while also, you know, not being afraid to talk about violence in the trans community or homophobia or something. I think like with me, um, yes, I crack a lot of jokes that are risque. Um, the, the fun fact about me is if you put a boy in front of me, I will be really, really scared. <laughs> so I talk a lot of shit. It's just about talking shit. And you know what? As an entertainer, my, my job is to make people feel good. And so talking about sucking dick make people feel good. So you know why I talk about it. But I think you find that balance. And um, I think on the show... Yes, I am smart, but I didn't want to come off that I am better than you. And I think that's what people that are executives and of higher positions have done in, in the past. Yes, uh, yes, I have master's degree, but that don't mean that I'm better than you. That just mean that I enjoy education. And education is not always for everyone. Um, people do different things and for different reasons. So I think the balance, the unique balance is as I am making these jokes and as I am entertaining, I must always, always remind people that there's a, a better thing in life and that's self-empowerment and that's getting to know things and understand things that you don't typically understand or know. And I think we need to do that more often in the gay community because we don't at, at, at times accept everyone even though we preach inclusiveness we only want to be inclusive if you are a particular color or class or gender yeah like cisgender gay men are still at the forefront of drag culture which is fine but then at the same time trans queens get deleted trans tr we love to lead a t out of lgbt we do um, and and, and I, I, I feel like trans women with me, I would love to see an all trans cast of RuPaul's Drag Race. I do not believe that there need to be one trans woman in a season with all trans men. Because the, the reality of it is, they story get lost and you never tell a story. You put a whole cast of trans women, it's gonna make, it's gonna force them to tell the trans experience. And so that's one of my true beliefs. I am gonna always advocate for that. Some people have called me transphobic because I don't believe that trans women should compete on a regular season but let that be I think about the greater good the big picture it's not about the small picture drag race is changing the world not only through this art form but through our stories and if we don't tell our true authentic stories what's the whole purpose what are we doing and so I, I, I'm very grateful to be on Drag Race because I've told all of my stories. You know that I'm an educated woman. You know that I'm a woman that used to be a minister of music and play piano. You know I'm a woman that sing and I believe in education. And that's the true beauty of drag. Yeah. And you really do encompass everything a drag queen should be. And it is so powerful. So uh, we're so grateful to have that. And, you know, as you know, I just graduated. I got my I got my undergrad degree. And she invited me to a party, but I think I missed it already. It's OK. <laughs> it was last week. It was, it was okay. last week. That's OK. I get you a gift. Oh, you don't have to do that. This interview was gift enough. Ah! You better support my girl because she supported all the queen. And you know what? We forget the T, but we also forget the A in LGBTA. Allies are very, very, very important because allies help with acceptance, tolerance, um, understanding, and I, I, that is very, very, very important. Oh, it is. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you for making time for this interview. Oh, thank you. you got, got to do this. You're great. Thank you. Now I'm going back to help my girls because my girls been in line and they looking real cute. <laughs>
Thank you for waiting. Shout out to you guys. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, guys.